Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to the Geek Suite. I'm your hostess with the mostest, the one and only Kidner Bean. And if you're new to this channel, be sure to hit like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of our content. All right, guys, today on the Geeks Week, we're back for another cartoon conspiracy. And today we're going to be talking about something that's been gnawing at me for years. Like, literal years. Somebody somewhere should probably be concerned about me. Is Fiona from Shrek a cannibal? Okay. So bear with me on this, because as somebody super smart once said, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. And I have some extraordinary evidence. But before we even trash Fiona's character with cannibalism, I do want to go out there and say that Shrek is one of my favorite movies, and growing up as a little girl who both liked to kick butt and be cute, Fiona was high key my idol. But she's still probably a cannibal. Okay, well, if you love Fiona so much, where's the cannibal question coming from, you might ask. That's a really good question, and it's going to come from the fact that I love her so much and have seen Shrek 10,000 times. And during one of my 10,000 rewatches of Shrek, I noticed this in the upcoming clip, and that's what got me going down this rabbit hole. Better fight! That's what all the other knights did! Yeah, right before they burst into flame! You know, that's not the point! <gasps> Okay, I can already see you guys typing the Don't be ridiculous, this is obviously a blank reference comments in the comment section down below. And yes, I am aware that this cookbook scene in the background is a reference to the Twilight Zone It's a Cookbook episode. Mr. Chambers! Mr. Chambers! Don't get on that ship! The rest of the book to serve men... It's a cookbook! No! 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 So, looking at the cookbook episode, and yes, this is obviously an Easter egg or homage to the Twilight Zone, it doesn't detract from the fact that this is a cookbook. But, like, whose cookbook? Because we see from Donkey's interaction with the dragon that she pretty much just roasts and eats them, it's not even clear if she's eating these knights, whole. And there's only one other person in the castle, which means this cookbook is probably Fiona's. But wait, you say, that cookbook and cauldron are far too large to belong to tiny little Fiona. Aha, but wait, Fiona, as we know, moonlights as an ogre. I've and been, I've been this way as long as I can remember. What do you mean? Look, I ain't never seen you like this before. It only happens when the sun goes down. By night one way, by day another, this shall be the norm. Until you find true love's first kiss, and then take love's As an form. ogre. And in looking at the scenes where we see Donkey and Fiona and other humans standing next to Shrek, ogres are much larger than humans. And as we see in the opening scene, ogres eat Humans. I think it did. Yeah, it'll grind your bones for its bread. <laughs> oh. Yes. Well, actually, that would be a giant. Oh, now, ogre. ogres, oh, they're much worse. They'll make a suit from your freshly peeled skin. No. They'll shave your liver, squeeze oh, no. the jelly from your eyes. Actually, it's quite good on toast. Back! Back, please! Back! I warn you! So looking at all these different human recipes that Shrek lists off in the opening sequence, we do see that ho ogres eat humans. And it's evident from their adventures with Fiona and Shrek and Donkey as they travel across the countryside that Fiona very much appreciates ogre culture. Hashtag ogre culture. They have these weird little drumsticks, the balloon animal bit, the weed rat stew. Fiona's very much gung-ho for ogre culture. Hashtag ogre culture. So, seeing that she enjoys other aspects of ogre culture, it wouldn't be a stretch to think that she would enjoy some of Shrek's other recipes in addition to, you know, reed rat rotisserie. Like human recipe. So, now that we've established that Fiona is eating her would-be saviors most likely, that begs the question, does that make her a cannibal? Well, we have to start by taking a look at the definition of cannibalism. 
Online Dictionary states that cannibalism is the practice of eating the flesh of one's own species. And this idiosyncrasy is going to be where we make our argument. Because this definition presents an interesting case for Fiona. She is and was born human, but spends half of her time as an ogre up and until she marries Shrek and then goes full-time ogre. Hashtag ogre culture. So it would make sense that if she's cooking and eating these knights as an ogre, it wouldn't be considered cannibalism because they're not members of her species. But it commonly takes almost 24 hours for food to fully process through the digestive tract. So at some point, she's going to turn back into a human and have human flesh in her digestive system. And this is where we sort of come to a lack in culture and folklore that deals with cannibalism. Uh, we don't really have any examples of cannibalism in our modern society except for the Donner Party, that one soccer team that got caught in the air crash, and some BS folklore about Central American indigenous people who practice cannibalism, and some not so BS North American folklore, namely talking about the skinwalkers of certain Native American tribes. But none of these examples deal with things like werewolves, or ogres, or being half human and consuming human flesh. So I guess that leaves us with no cultural points of reference in the folklore to rely on the facts. And so let's take a look at these facts and see if we can form some sort of logically structured argument or case that would determine whether or not Fiona is a cannibal. Fact one, cannibalism is the consumption of the flesh of one's own species. Fact number two, Ogres are not humans. They're like onions, but they are not humans. Which brings us to this conditional conclusion of, if you are not human, then consuming human flesh is not cannibalism. And this definition of cannibalism relying on consumption rather than digestion is going to be another place where we could make our case. If Fiona isn't human, if she's in her ogre state when she's physically eating, or consuming, the human flesh, does that make her a cannibal? Well, technically no, it wouldn't. She wouldn't be a cannibal if she was an ogre and consuming this flesh. So I guess we need more information on the physical state of Fiona when she's consuming these would-be saviors of hers to determine whether or not she's partaking in cannibalism. And while that's a, a safe place to stop and say, well, no, if she's an ogre, then it's clearly not cannibalism when she eats them. But we have to take into account that Fiona is a person. She's not just part ogre, part human, we have to know that looking at Fiona's past, as we see um, from Shrek 2, that she was raised and grew up in a human mindset. So in her mind, she always sees herself as a human. All throughout the first Shrek movie, she's just completely obsessed with marrying someone human, not Shrek, so that way she can return to her fully human form. She doesn't want to be an ogre. She didn't want to be an ogre. She wanted to be human. She didn't even have to deal with any of this ogreishness until she was cursed by the fairy godmother as a child so that she could grow up and marry Jamie Lannister. I mean, Prince Charming. So we have to factor in that deep down Fiona has, up and until she marries Shrek and then the sequels just fully goes into ogre mode, that she has grown up in a normal human mindset that even when she was in ogre form, she still very much considered herself part of the human race. And deep down, she's still in her head committing cannibalism. Because yes, while she might be an ogre right now, she doesn't want to be an ogre. This is just a curse. And that leaves us with, yeah, Fiona's a cannibal. So there you have it. One of my favorite princesses, Princess Fiona, is probably a cannibal. Let me know what you guys think. Have I put way too much thought into this? Do you agree that she's a cannibal? Does it not matter now because she's full-time ogre with ogre babies and ogre husband? Did I miss something? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And again, be sure to hit like and subscribe, ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of our wonderful Geek Suite content. And for those of you who are diehards and super stan the Geek Suite, be sure to support us on Patreon, the link's in the description down below. All right guys, I'll see you next time. Mwah.